From Upper Michigan Source, this is your Sports On Demand for Tuesday, November 27th. I'm Mike Ludlum. The boys basketball schedule is underway for many Upper Peninsula teams. Let's start at Westwood, where the Patriots were taking on the Lance Purple Hornets. T Taylor Delangelo to Ty Alderton for the hoop in the third quarter. Patriots were in control. For the Purple Hornets, Reese Wara finds Alec Ryala behind the three-point line. Nothing but net there, but the Purple Hornets were still more than 15 points behind. Nathan Beckman gets the ball up court to Mesa Mariuza. Missed the first. Oh, ball just returns to him like he was playing an arcade game. Puts it back up and in. All right, time running out in the quarter. Reese Wara to Alex Kissel from the corner. Another successful triple tribe. There's still time for Westwood. Play number one has been called. That means first person shoots. Nathan Beckman launches and knocks it down. Westwood led 38-17 after three quarters. And the Patriots get the first win of the year, 47-19 over the Purple Hornets. We'll go north. Now Ghani over at Calia met first quarter action. Jason Waterman driving, scoring off the board. He had 27 points for the Miners. Jump ahead to the second half. Now it's Calumet's turn. Matt Ojala driving, scooping, scoring. He had 12 points and even bigger, 12 assists. Then it's Matt Ojala to twin brother Travis for three. And this game continued to go back and forth for quite a while. Then Matt Ojala to Elijah McParland for three. McParland led the Copper Kings with 19, four players in double figures. Calumet hangs on to win, 63 to 60 after this missed free throw. Nagani had a long shot at the buzzer, but it fell short. To the scoreboard, Iron Mountain 65, Gladstone 63, two of the top teams in the Upper Peninsula battling early. Lakeland and Hubble over Hancock 61-52. Dollar Bay no trouble with Republic Michigami, Jeffers 52, Barriga 27. Eli Nordine had 20 for Ewan Trout Creek, or Creek, but it was Wakefield Marinisco, seven points better, 63-56. Jacob Jokey hit a half-court three-point buzzer beater, and that capped three lead changes in about five seconds, and Ironwood edged Bessemer 54-52. Antonagan eight better than Waters Meet, Munising 44, Norway 31. It was North Central 54, Forest Park 37. Matt Brunette had 19 for North Dickinson, defeating Bark River Harris 48-46. Superior Central downs Big Bay to knock 64-48. Angadine runs away from Mid Peninsula 89-50. Brimley top Cedarville 71-49, and it was East Jordan 70, St. Ignace 40. And Detour turned down Harbor Light Christian 66-47. Christian, On the girls' side, Florence wins 73-47 over Coleman. Kathleen Selden had 15 points and 13 rebounds for the Bobcats. And Wasaki cruises past Niagara 74-33. In men's college basketball, North Central Illinois defeated Finlandia 83-58. The Lions were led by Dollar Bay's Jaden Janke, who had 19 points. Dylan Underwood had 14 points with 9 assists. Turning to high school hockey, Marquette's already playing its fourth game of the year. Escanaba just its first. Pick it up in the second period, Marquette leads 2-1. Thomas Dunleavy is going to get the puck right in front of us, and he quickly knocks that one home. And the Redmen had a 3-1 lead after two. To the third, Grant Wickham in on Brennan Hakala, and that's a goal. And the Eskimos are within one at 3-2. Later in the third, Escanaba just kills off a penalty. But after it ends, Mark O'Connor will get up the goal here for Marquette. The Redmen add an empty netter and pick up the 5-2 victory on the road. Also in high school hockey, Houghton blanked Hancock 2-0. Jimmy Piedla had 20 saves for the Gremlins. And in college hockey, Cal Burke scored a power play goal for Notre Dame 108 into overtime. The Fighting Irish over NMU 2-1. Darian Craighead had the Wildcat goal. Ate Tolvanen had 33 saves for the Wildcats. Changes in the high school hoop calendars for this season means the TV6 boys basketball preseason dream teams comes first because the boys season started last night. As usual, the team will be named in alphabetical order. Gladstone's Reese Castor is an easy choice. Castor just signed a national letter of intent to continue his career at Northern Michigan University next year. Castor poured in 
22.1 points per game and added six and a half rebounds and nearly four assists per contest, helping the Braves reach the Class B district final. The center on this year's preseason dream team is 6'10", Marius Grazoulis of Marquette. He signed his national letter of intent Monday to Grand Valley State, following his sister Dinah Grazoulis to Allendale, Michigan. Marius was a UP Class ABC second team player last season, 14.6 points, 8.7 rebounds per game, along with more than two blocks and more than one and a half assists per game. The defending UP Class ABC Player of the Year returns in Iron Mountain's Marcus Johnson. Johnson is just a junior. The 5'10 guard scored nearly 23 points per game, added 5 assists, 3.7 rebounds, and more than 2 steals per contest, help, helping the Mountaineers reach the Class C quarterfinals. Calumet claimed the Class C district title a year ago, thanks in part to Matt Ojula. The 6'1 guard dropped in nearly 20 points per game, adding 7.4 assists and 3.3 steals per game, a couple of them you're seeing here. Like others on the list, it might be tough to improve on those numbers because everybody knows who he is. Matt is known for his speed. Once upon a time, his father, Mike Ojula, won the UP 200-meter dash final from the second heat. Another player with parents who did very well back in the day, Iron Mountain's Foster Wonders already has offers from two Division I colleges. The 6'4 sophomore knocked down 19 points per game, more than six rebounds, adding an assist and a steal. Iron Mountain should be the best team of the UP starting the season. The question is, will the Mountaineers end the season that way? A quick look at others who will be pretty darn good this season. In fact, maybe taking a crack at the Dream Team. The Ghani's Jason Waterman certainly could have been in the top five. Gwen's Taylor Tucker, Houghton's Brad Sarard, Ishpeming's Gavin Sundberg, along with help from Darius Yohe. Rapid River's Tyler Sundling, Nick Eddington of Pickford, Cedarville's Tristan Masuga, Wakefield Marinisco's Mason Saubert, Bo Rondo of Superior Central provided his broken leg from football heels and Escanaba's Jared Nash. And of course, there are at least a good 10 others that are just as good. Michigan Tech Volleyball standouts Olivia Gormley and Laura DeMarchi have been named All-Americans by the American Volleyball Coaches Association. Gormley is an outside hitter who earned a spot on the All-American third team. She becomes the fifth player in the Huskies program history to be on a team and the first since Marisol Mosquera back in 1997. The sophomore led the GLIAC in kills and she was the GLIAC attacker of the year. DeMarchi was named GLIAC Setter of the Year for the second year in a row. She receives an honorable mention berth. She is also just a sophomore and needs 536 assists to become the fourth player in tech history to record 3,000 assists in a career. Rachel Wall has been named to the 2018 United States Soccer Coaches NCAA Division II All Midwest Region Third Team. Wall helped guide the Huskies to a 10-6-1 record overall, a fourth place finish in the GLIAC, and the program's seventh straight postseason appearance. Wall is a senior from Egan, Minnesota. She was named second team all GLIAC after earning, earning all GLIAC honorable mention last season. Wall's work in the classroom also has been recognized with a spot on the GLIAC All Academic All Excellence team each of the last two years.